What's up, it's Mr. Boomer here again, and now for a new top 10. Way! And this time it's about the comic book animated shows, not films. But yeah, just, let's just begin. Let's be honest, this show's kind of stupid, but there are some decent episodes, so that's why Iron Man Armored Adventures is on the list. Can't really think of anything else to put there, but... Uh, yeah, I just potted that there just for the sake of being there, so... Yeah, Iron Man Armored Avengers is at number 10, just cause I just pull it at it, enough said. <laughs> to be honest with you, I haven't really seen much of Batman Beyond, but for, judging from what the episodes I've seen, it's pretty good, and he took lots of risks, and for the most part they paid off. I mean, that might be why I don't don't really watch it that much, because I don't really have much time to watch it, but, you know, whenever I do watch it, it's very good. I liked how there's a new Batman, Terry McGuinness. I liked the new films they made. I liked how there's barely any original ones, like the Joker, Two-Face, you know, there's not really a clay face beyond or anything like that so yeah batman beyond it is actually a pretty good show it's just a shame that it wasn't really aired on much countries because this series is actually pretty good too bad it, it was pretty short and that not that many people actually even heard of this, but it's a very good show. As well as being a good Black Panther show as well. And it is very dark. And yeah, it's just a good story and some cool characters. The voice acting's quite good too. And yeah. Black Panther the Animated Series is probably one of the most underrated cartoons I've probably ever watched. Yeah, it's that unknown. It's beyond stupid at that point. Now this show, there's some good things and there are some, to be honest, mediocre things but there's more good things to it like for starters the made robin cool which is probably one of the only few thing uh, media that i know of that made robin cool they also made raven pretty cool in fact they actually made almost everyone cool maybe with the exception of beast boy i just don't really like him very much and i like the villains especially slade and trigon Slade was pretty much the highlight. His voice is slick, he was intimidating, he was a deadly foe. And yeah, Teen Titans is pretty good. And give it a shot, if you haven't already. Now this show is awesome. I used to not keep being keen on it much but the more i look at it the more i actually like this show a, a lot of. Uh, mainly the characters spider-man's done well green goblin's perfect dr octopus is cool electro's handled well rhino was cool uh yeah lots of good characters there they got the green goblin arc was brilliantly how well done however i don't really like Venom very much. 
even the story arc. It, it's a bit confusing, but oh well, it, de it re redeems itself with the awesome Green Goblin story arc. So yeah, that's the only reason why it's pretty low on the list, mainly because of how weird the Venom story arc is as well as the character. Spawn, I have to admit, is the most underrated superhero ever to exist. And I'm very happy that it actually got an animated series as well. And it's awesome. I really loved the dark atmosphere. Spawn was done very well. He is a very tragic hero and yet he is a very cool hero too. As well as his abilities, and I liked how he, he is it's just a perfect version of the comics. I just really liked every minute of it. I've only seen season one so far, but I'll try and watch all three seasons. And by so far, it's one of the best comic book animated series out there. Give it a watch. I highly recommend it for all you that like the dark and realistic sort of story. Ah, nostalgia. This is a perfect example of a nostalgic cartoon that I always grown to love. Especially when it comes to the X-Men. It may be a bit off for today's standards, but it's good cheesy fun. And it's quite true to the comics as well. And I really liked their personalities. I liked the action scenes. The animation was quite good. I really enjoyed the X-Men animated series. It's even better than Wolverine and the X-Men. Granted, I haven't really watched that one at all yet. But I will. I will. And so much better than X-Men Evolution, in my opinion. So yeah, X-Men is the superior X-Men animated series. Oh, here comes the rage with this choice. First, let's go to Batman the Animated Series, the original. It, I really haven't grown up with it much because it was barely on whenever I watched it. But now that I've watched a lot of it, I really enjoyed it a lot. I like the stories, I like the characters, some great characters. Yeah, it's very dark. It's a dark series and I really enjoyed it. And now let's get on to the to what everyone really hates, the Batman. I really enjoyed it because, to be honest, their Batman is the thing that made me lo love Batman so much. Surprisingly. I knew who Batman was, but I just never really liked the character so much because I was more of a Marvel chunky at the time. And I will admit, there are some things that are better in, in the Batman, the animated series, than is with the Batman. Like the starters, the Joker. Mark Hamill is so much better than whoever voiced them on the Batman, but I really like everything that both these series do, because they do it so well, and there are some things that are better in the Batman than there is in the animated series, and there are some better things in Batman the animated series is better than the Batman, but oh well, them two shows are very good, I couldn't really choose between them, so I had to make a tie break on that one. My apologies, I just can't choose, because I've grown up with the Batman so much, then looking at Batman the Animated Series, I just really love, so both of them are on the list, at the same spot. I always loved this show when I was little. I really liked lots of the characters, I liked the story. Lots of things were very cool, especially with the characters mainly. 
I liked Batman on this, I liked Green Lantern, I liked Flash, I liked Martian Manhunter, I really liked almost all the heroes. And you probably know who I hate. And the films were just as interesting too, like The Joker, Lex Luthor, Star Sapphire, uh, The Loyal Flush Gang, lots of them are very good, to, just to name a few. And yeah, the animation is brilliant and it's probably the best DC animated series I've ever seen. But what can top it? Bring it on, I'll just show you right now. This show is pretty recent, and yeah, it's one of my favourite cartoons I've ever seen. I, I just really love what they did with all the characters, because they are so perfectly portrayed in this when it comes to voice actors. The animation is brilliant. I really like the uh, villains. Specifically, Doctor Doom, perfectly portrayed, by the way. And yeah, it it's just amazing. You got lots of Marvel characters together, and it's much better in season two. I mean, it was brilliant in season one, but then they went way better in season two, which is amazing. And I recommend all comic book readers. And especially cartoon lovers to go check this show out. I dare you. And it's gonna be a good show for you all. And how dare they cut? There you have it. There's my top 10 comic books animated series. I hope you enjoyed it. My next project is now currently unknown. Any suggestions is great for me so if you want me to make any video I'll try and make it if I can so this is Mr. Boomer here and I'm going now so ta-da